This will be the craziest cold email video you will see on YouTube. AI has gone to the point where it can write personalized emails for you so you don't even have to do any of the work yourself. If you don't use what I'm about to show you in this video then you're going to be at a massive disadvantage compared to those that do use it. What I'm about to show you combines personalization and volume using AI in ChatGPT so you never have to send an email manually again or do the work yourself and the best part is I'm going to walk through absolutely everything in this video. So get comfy, this will blow your mind and at the end of the video I'm going to give you another tip that I use to book even more meetings. This is going to be an insane video so without further ado let's get into the video. Welcome to this AI cold email system where we're going to be using ChatGPT to basically write personalized first lines. It's absolutely insane. It's going to combine personalization with volume, which I know is a huge problem for most of you guys. You don't know whether to send, um, you know, lower quantity, but more personalization or less personalization, but more quantity. But this video is going to combine both. So you get the best of both worlds and it's going to be absolutely insane. So let me make myself smaller so you can actually see the full thing. And all you need is a Google Sheet. Now, in the Google Sheet, you're going to need emails. For example, I've just got 10 because I'm going to make it really simple. I'm going to walk you through it. It's going to be really easy. Um, not like a you know an hour-long video. It's going to be easy and something you're going to be able to do right after this video so you can get to work. So you need emails. Obviously, you're going to have a lot more than 10 because I'm just using 10 as an example. But hopefully, you've got a lead list. You're going to get websites, you're going to want their first name, company name, sort of their role, and then this sort of bit. You can just, I've made it look pretty aesthetic, but you can sort of, it doesn't have to be this like clean, you could say. But then what we're going to do is you're going to put prompt and you're going to put this basically. But before we actually do this, I'm going to tell you how to get ChatGPT for Google Sheets. You're going to go to extensions, you're going to go to add-ons, and you're going to click get add-ons. And this will bring you to the Google Workspace Marketplace. And we're going to search um, chat GPT for um, Google Docs. So for Sheets. So this one here. I've already got it. As you can see, it's installed. But you're just going to download it. You're going to basically walk through the steps. It's really simple, really easy. And you're going to basically get an API key. Now with that API key, um, you'll basically just put it in, follow the instructions, really simple. And then hopefully once you've done that, it'll bring you back to this page. But do this after the video, make sure you watch this video first, um, just to get a better understanding of how this whole thing works. But once you've done that, which is super easy, we're then going to put this. So a task is we're putting prompts. So we're basically telling ChatGPT what we want. Now obviously you can change this to whatever you want in terms of an email. I'm just doing this to write personalized mass um, first lines so this is the sort of um, beginning of the email where we're going to have a compliment which is going to be personalized using AI so it's going to sort of like um, search up a bit about their brand so you don't have to like personally do research on the company it's going to do it for you so as you can see I've put in I've put sorry write personalized two sentences for start of an email do research on the website and provide a compliment about something unique this is what I want out of the first two sentences of the email, which is going to generate for all of these. But if you had thousands of emails, it's going to do this mass. It's going to be absolutely insane what I'm about to show you. So the style, I've done creative, tone, excited, start with, hey, first name. That's what we're going to start the email with. Include a compliment, include company name and include um, research of the website. So what you could say now, once you've done this and you've got it organized, hopefully you would have, you know, hundreds if not thousands of emails because that's what would work best because you need to be doing quantity guys and you're gonna have websites obviously and if you don't know how to get all of the emails um websites you could you could use a bunch of like lead scraping softwares you could use apollo.io you could use lead, uh, d7 lead finder you could lead, um, use a bunch of other things um once you've done that make sure you just check um you verify the email so you put them into like a um, email verify you can just search up the bunch of free ones online but yeah apollo t7 lead finder there's tons of like free ones as well where you can find emails and leads and good stuff but let's get into it so once you've done that and you've gone to extensions and you've got this now you're going to go here and you're going to put enable chat gpt and it's going to do this so 
Now it's going to say all chat, G chat, chat GPT sorry, functions are now enabled on this spreadsheet. Click OK. Um, now I think you just need to open it. So I've already opened it. So you, you can just press open and it's going to bring you here. Now this is where it gets interesting. This is what we do. We're going to go here and we're going to put an equal sign. I'm going to put G uh, like this and you're going to click on this one. Then we're going to do the exact same. But you're going to do then an underscore create prompt. Click on it. Now you should have this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to copy the tasks, the prompt, sorry, which have all the tasks for ChatGPT, you could say. So we're going to copy it. You don't need to copy and paste it. As you can see, it's already put in A6, B12. That, none of that matters. It may look confusing, but it's really not. You're then just going to put a comma, which sort of separates it. Now we're going to put the headers. So we're going to put the this so you're going to copy this once again it's already done that now we're going to close the bracket and we're going to put another comma and we're just going to do this so we're going to do mic we can use the website i'm not we're just going to do this so like that and we're going to close the bracket and press enter now it's going to create a personalized first line using ai about sort of mic so here we go Hey Mike, I was browsing through the Advovet, Anvo, I don't know how you pronounce that, legal mar media marketing website. I must say your blog section is incredibly informative and engaging. Keep up the great work. It's literally done a personalized first line about their website, but this is where it gets crazy because we're just getting into it, guys. What we're going to do now is we're going to click on this. And as you can see, there's some cool things up here. What we're going to do, right, is we're actually going to put a comma here and we're going to put one and we're going to click enter again and it's going to make it even more creative look it's literally made it even more creative so it says i'm blown away about how expertly you combine legal knowledge with cutting edge marketing strategies your approach is truly unique and inspiring so we've made it even more creative which is good but now this is where it gets crazy what we're going to do is we're going to put a dollar sign is it a dollar yeah a dollar sign between the sort of things like this, each one you're putting a dollar sign. Wait, sorry, that's the um, I've got pre message like things for Instagram outreach, never mind about that. But now, when we press enter, it's just going to make it so it doesn't like mess it up basically into all the same lines. But now, this is where it gets good, right? Because we you may think, oh, it's Charlie, that's annoying, you have to do that for every single one. Well, no, because watch this. I'm going to drag, I'm going to drag it down and look, wait a second, it's just loading, it's working its magic and boom, you've just written 10 personalized first lines using AI, each of them is individually like personalized, so it's going to be completely unique once a business owner or whoever's viewing the emails is going to open it up and they're going to think, oh, this is great, humans written like this. They must have you know, done a lot of research into the company. It looks like amazing, but no, it's AI. And hopefully you can envision what I'm thinking because if you had a thousand emails in here, you can just drag it down like I've just shown you. You can just drag this down as many as you want and it will literally do AI personalized first lines. But we're still only getting sort of into it. Now, you may be asking me, Charlie, how do I actually sort of send emails? Because that's good and all. I've shown you how to do personalized first lines, which is enough value. And most YouTubers or gurus would stop there. But no, not me. I'm getting into this now. I'm in my zone. Um, so we're going to go to Instantly. Now, if you don't have Instantly, I do have a link in the description. It would support me in the channel. So hopefully... As I'm providing you this value for free, the least you could do is just get my link and get an instantly account because if you don't have cold emails, then you need cold emails and what better way than instantly. It's what I personally use. I'm not sponsored to say this. It's generally like the best website for um, sort of cold emailing and it's way better than Lemlist. It's what I use personally and it's pretty cheap, like $30 a month. And that gets you, by the way, $30 a month gets you like as many domains. So if you know anything about cold emails, you'll know that you need to get quite a few domains because you don't want to be sending all your emails on one domain because that will mess up the deliverability, which means that the emails will get sent to the spam box. So you can reduce the 
amount your emails will get sent to the spam box by creating more domains and connecting them to instantly. So it's unlimited email accounts, which is crazy because Lemlist or any other email software gets you to pay like $30 per domain, but not instantly. And I'm not sponsored to say this. It's generally like the best like cold email software at the moment. Um, instantly.ai, like first link in the description should get you this basically. And it would support me out. But I'm going to show you how to actually get in this now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to share and we're going to not make this restricted, but make it with anyone the link, click done and then copy it. So copy the link, go back into, now we're going to, now we're in instantly and we're going to create a new campaign. This is where you actually sort of send the emails. So I'm showing you how to do this. So let's put, the prospects can't see this. No one can see this apart from you. Just put AI cold email should be good. Then da -da 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 -da, we are going to do import. We're going to do Google Sheets and we're going to paste the link we just copied into Google the link. Click import. You're going to put, so now we've got this. So we're not going to import the prompt, obviously. We don't want that in the email. Um, the email's fine. The website's fine. First name, this is all cool. Like, this is totally fine. We can go uh, to undefined and we can put this as personalization. Now, we are going to click upload all. It's going to upload 10 contacts to the campaign, which is really cool. And now we're actually in the sequence. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create a subject. Now this is basically the, if you're not aware, this is the thing when people sort of are going to click on an email. So it's the first thing they see. So the reason for this and the psychology behind what we're going to put here is to drive curiosity because what we're looking for is for people to actually click on the email. So we're looking for the business owners to click on the email so they can actually open it and read. And hopefully what's going to happen is we've used AI to create a personalized sort of email. So they're going to be blown away and they're going to think that, wow, you've put a lot of effort into this. So what we're going to do is we're going to come here and we are going to put uh, first name. So we can do quick question. Quick question, lowercase works amazing um, for first name. Obviously, you can set up, you know, multiple different campaigns to test which one has the best open rate. Now, you don't have to put your first name here. I just did it. Or you can change this with, let's say we want to change it for company name, you know. The choice is yours really and now what we're going to do is we're going to insert a variable so we're going to go down here and we're going to do personalization now i'll show you what this looks like at the end now you've done the personalization which is the personalized first name now we actually need to like put the middle bit of so that like imagine it like a sandwich right you've got the bread you've got the meat and then you've got the bread again we've just done the bread which is the personalization that's the top of the email now we actually need to get into the offer so Whatever offer you have, if it's an AI chatbot for e-commerce, it doesn't really matter if it's lead gen, appointment setting, AI creative agency, it doesn't really matter. You're going to place your offer in here and this could be like, so it's already done the personalization. So if you want to know what it looks like, it's going to load it. Maybe it will show me, maybe it won't. Okay, it's not going to show me, but you get the point. It's going to be all of this. So everything that's here is going to put. And it's going to be completely like, what's the word, um, custom. So every email, so you only need to do this once. So you don't have to manually do this anymore. It's going to do it automatically. But now we need to put in the middle of the actual email what we're going to put. So this is going to be your offer. So offer stated. You can do a pay on results basis. So obviously don't put this. I'm just telling you what to put. This is where your offer goes. So an example, for example, an offer could be, um, we will give you a full three week um, AI chatbot for your website to test it out. Um, not sure when you're available or just, um, you can say, would you be available later this week for a quick call? Something like that. And then now what we're going to do 
is remember at the beginning I said I'm going to give you a tip to book even more meetings. Here's a bit of psychology. People, when they open an email, they read the PS before they actually read the copy. That's like proven by, you know, studies that people, you've got to think of it as like a prospect would think about it when they open an email, right? They're going to be skimming, skimming. They're going to see, oh, three, four a week. That's cool. Then they're going to see this, would you be available later? But what they're going to skip over is the PS because people read the PS more than they are likely to read the actual copy. So then you're going to say, I mean it when I say you'll get it for completely free for a week, no charge, something like that. And then you then you're gonna put your signature here. And like any other variables you can put in here, but like we've pretty much done it. So obviously it's not letting me, for some reason it's not letting me show you. Okay, here we go. Okay, what is this? Okay, I don't know what that is, but now we can actually see the email. So obviously it doesn't have the personalization, but what will happen is there will be the personalization which we've done using AI in here above the offer. So when the prospect opens the email, they're gonna be blown away by the amount of research you've done, which you actually haven't done, you just use AI, which is clever. But you get the point. It's going to change the game for you in terms of, you know, getting meetings through cold email. It's absolutely insane. So, yeah, that's the end of the video. I hope you really sort of enjoyed this. You know, I find this absolutely amazing. So I was excited to actually get into it. But, yeah, that's it for now. I hope you have, you know, a great rest of your week. And if you want to support me in the channel and you, if you want to get instantly anyway, so you're going to get it, you may as well use my link to support me. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Have a great day.